Hello everybody, how are you? Today it's a lovely windy day in Germany and I took refuge in the German forest. Today we'll also run an experiment. Remember in my last video I gave you a free sample assessment tool in contact. To my amazement there were hundreds of them downloaded, so thank you very much for the motivation. The purpose of this tool was to drag and drop your own samples to assess their potential for downstream um, sampling instrument uh, development, to create your own instruments in contact. So I thought, could you also use this instrument for something else? Could we use it to sketch and orchestrate uh, an idea? And this is the experiment we are going to run. Oh, look what I found. Hello. Would you like to buy a contact virtual instrument? No? Maybe? Yeah, prices are going up. Yes? No food? No contact instrument? Okay. Sorry to bother you. See you. Bye-bye. Um, yes, where was I? Ah, yeah. Could we use this um, instrument? Bye-bye. Bye. The experiment um, is to assess whether we can use this tool for sketching and orchestrating a trailer, for example. To run the experiment, we'll need this uh, label mic conveniently attached to my spectacles, plugged in my mobile phone, and the sample assessment tool. Uh, links in the previous video or even in this video and above. I warn you, this experiment might lead to a mega failure. But at the end of the day, sometimes, not always, the journey is more important than the destination. And with that in mind, let's record some sounds. If I find my way back to the studio. Hello. Did I thank you for downloading my sample assessment tool? I'm really impressed by the number of downloads. So thank you again. We are on the right track. Hmm. Made it. So let's record some instruments. Okay, how about this? Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Good stuff. Can I have the cello, please? Thank you. Something. I don't have high hopes for this. All right. Merci. Have you heard this summer's hit? And who could forget the best hit, 1992? What else? Uh, what else? And how about this? Hmm, so what else? Hans, can you get us the sofa? Come on, Hans, you can do it. Thank you. All right, you can take it. Clean up. And fuck off. <laughs> Hans, careful, my studio. Finally, we made it to contact. Before you drag and drop your samples in the sample assessment tool, I would uh, suggest to decompress your audio files if you recorded them in a compressed format on your phone. And I will leave in the description um, uh, links to the wave converter, which is a drag and drop and convert. And you want to denoise your samples, something that I would recommend. Uh, I will leave the links to Audacity, which is open source and free. 
and it's pretty good for denoising your samples for free. Now, back to contact. Remember chromophonics sample assessment tool? Now, if I right mouse click, I get my quick load and my quick load, I have my sample tool ready to go. I drag and drop it and here we are. Summer heat of 1982, remember? Well, well. Let's drag and drop a sample. I think this is this. Don't have high hopes with this one, but let's see. Now, I'm not going to follow a puristic approach. I don't care if it sounds uh, like the perfect cello, the perfect violin, the perfect pan flute. What I care about is whether the frequencies serve my orchestration purposes. So. Who would have thought that you can get this from um, that shitty... Well, no, no, it's not that shitty one. It's nice. But from this to this. we have our first instrument. Now, if you want to reset any of the controls back to its default value, you keep control pressed while you left mouse click. Now, if you want to reset everything in one go, you just drag and drop your sample again and everything goes back to default. Now that I have a sound, what I can do is save this instrument and I'll show you a few tricks that you can get the most out of saving your own instruments in this sample assessment tool. You can first of all rename this to SAT or Chromophonics Sample Assessment Tool and then I'm going to type strings. Sort of. Now I'm going to click on this icon, save as, the right folder. It's important to have, to have patch plus sample selected and deselect the absolute path. And then click save. Now, your instrument is now saved in, in the folder of your choice. I'm going to create here by right mouse clicking, adding a new folder, naming it uh, Project X. And this Project X, I can drag and drop my strings sort of. So now, if I quickly want to have access to this saved instrument, I can right mouse click, go to Project X, and here I have my instrument. Now, once you did it, you can create snapshots by clicking on this icon and saving this snapshot as string patch one within this uh, instrument. Now, let's say I want to create another uh, sound based on this sample. Let's create a new one. Click on my snapshot save and say uh, patch 2. Now if I want to recall the first sound, I can go to my patch 1. If 
I want to recall my second punch. This makes your life easy by saving um, a specific instrument based on your sample and then creating different snapshots. So like this, I'm going to process all the sounds that we recorded and see whether I'm able to come up with certain frequencies that will serve the sonic tapestry of my little sketch. So after playing around with the samples, I came up with the sounds. This is our strings from this. This is a uh, whistling sound. This is this is our bass that came from a flute. Is this? Oh, this is chimes. This is from the cello. Right. And I think we'll have a drum too. So I'm going to use these sounds now and I will orchestrate a little uh, idea I have. But to make it more interesting, uh, I will piece together a, a quick trailer just to make it fun. Let's see. Now, I am not against good quality samples, but what I'm saying is that you could use your own samples, even in a primitive form, like the, the, the ones that I use now, to just get a better um, idea of what you want to do sonically uh, speaking, also from a sound design. Um, I hope you enjoyed and found value in this video, and until next time, be happy and enjoy your summer.